Welcome everybody. This is Marcy. I'm here with Marlo. How you doing? Hope everybody's doing good today. We are gonna go over letting go of guilt. Good. You guilt, doing good guilt, today? Guilt. I'm doing great. Okay. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. Good. Other than pretty the good. rain, it's not bad, huh? Uh, we need the rain. I know. Wipes all the negative energy and stuff away. All the bad vibes and stuff. It makes me want to sleep. <laughs> all right. We're letting go of guilt. Guilty pleasures. Um, guilty for, you know, feeling of guilt. Mm -hmm. Start with 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Although an unbeliever can learn a lot from this verse, it's truly directed more at believers. Um, to unbelievers, it is a glorious truth that if we confess our sins with our hearts and ask for forgiveness, we will be, we'll yeah. be forgiven. Um, but whether you're a believer or not, this tells us that we have to let go of the guilt. Um, God is faithful and he forgives us. And if he can forgive us, then we should be able to forgive ourselves. We should be able to forgive ourselves and, and not just ourselves, but we should be able to forgive others. And forgive others. I mean, if, if, if they come to you true with their heart, I mean, same way we would go to God, we should be able to forgive them. I mean, and, and to me, that that is really important. You know, and I would say it's for everyone because you're not only doing it for them, but you're doing it for yourself and for the people around you, people you care about. If you're holding on to guilt and if it if it drives you, then you're doing it all for the wrong reasons. I mean, yeah. guilt, guilt can just tear you apart. Yeah, whether it's your guilt or the yeah. other, someone else that's guilty of something. Yeah. Like you said, you have to, it goes hand in hand with forgiveness. It really does because mm -hmm. you have to learn to forgive. You can't, and it's not saying you have to ever be the same as you were with that person. But holding those hard feelings yeah. will eat you alive. Mm -hmm. It really will. First uh, John 3.20 For if our heart condemn us, God is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. And so how true that is. God already knows what's in our hearts. Indeed. You know, he knows what sin you've committed. Yeah. And how we react or feel because of that sin. So there's no hiding it from him. As soon as you're guilty of doing it, he already knows you're guilty of doing it. It's not like you're hiding it by not coming to him and asking for forgiveness. Yeah. Well, if I just don't mention it, it didn't happen. Well, to him it did. <laughs> he knows. He, he knows all and sees all. Yes. So repent for it. It will lighten that so much off of you. Like that. It will lighten your load. Lighten your soul. Yeah. It will lighten your soul. I mean, yeah, I mean it's just, just that simple. Yeah, it just, as they always say, clearing the air. Yeah. You know, you, you don't want to work with people or, you know, have family that when you're around them, you know, you can feel it, that, you know, tension they say you could cut with a knife when you're yeah. around them. You don't want that between you and God. You don't want to feel like you're tense coming to Him in prayer because you aren't talking about something that's bothering yeah. you. You know, just ask for the forgiveness. You know, you have to learn to forgive yourself. And the biggest step is ask him for help with that yeah because without it, it it just eats you up I mean in that right there I mean you you know and I'm just speaking on some of the things I've been through you know at some point you know you're you're asking people for forgiveness and you're hoping that you know they can see the change and they can see that you mean it you know you you know want to be forgiven but at some point, if they're not willing to let it go, then they have to deal with God on, on their terms. But if, when God forgives you, that's what matters. You have, give it to him. Give it to God. I'm telling you. 
makes a difference. Not everyone can forgive you. You know, that's not in some people's hearts to be able to do that. But by you reaching out and asking for that forgiveness, you can clear that weight off of yourself. You know, that's something they'll, they will have to learn to deal with. But, you know, and hopefully yeah, they can eventually they find can. that. Yeah. But you can't hold on to it because you've done your best to ask for forgiveness. Yeah. Uh, and, and everybody's not going to forgive you. No. I mean, that's... That's a given. That, that's a given. Everybody's not going to forgive you. Everybody is not going to allow you to move forward. Because they are stuck in whatever part time that was where they either were hurt or disappointed or whatnot. That's on them. You know, and it's it, it, it we shouldn't have to say it that way, but that's on them. If, if they're not willing to let it go, move forward, learn from it, grow from it, then then that's what they have to deal with. Yeah. Then obviously you can walk or you need to walk away. Because they're they're not meant to be there for you or whatnot. And the only one that really truly matters it's is God. God. Yep, it's God. And He will lovingly understand what's in your heart, mm-hmm. good or bad. Yep. You know, no matter what goes on in our lives, no matter who you are, where you are, mm-hmm. where you're from, your roots, you know, your age, sex, what you know, they talk mm-hmm. about all these anti-discrimination. He is the true meaning of anti-discrimination. He does not discriminate on age, sex, race, disability, any of that. It doesn't matter to him. God is here for all of us. Yeah. And he forgives all of us no matter what. You know, everyone's given the opportunity to let go of the old and become a new person. Yeah. A new person under Christ. You know, free from their old beliefs, their sin, their guilt. When you're born again, you let go of all of that. All your old beliefs, your sins, and your and guilt. And your guilt. And I mean, who, who who doesn't want that? I mean, literally, think back to some of the things you've done in your life, younger, you know, however, whenever. And just think about the times that you're just like, man, if I'd known what I knew, know now, back then... I wouldn't have done that stupid thing. I wouldn't have said that thing or whatever it may be. Every day you have opportunity to be born again. To be changed. To change your ways. Change your way of thinking. The way you feel about things. Everything. And that goes back to, you know, the video we did uh, two days ago now. Um, Born again. You know, you have that chance to start anew, you know, a whole new, new life. And it Christ. is truly yeah. like being born again, yeah. a whole new person starting all over again with a clean slate. Yeah. So letting go is One of the what's best things. for you. Yeah. Not just for you. you know, for not, to, not Don't worry about if everyone else has the ability to forgive and forget you do your part to ask for forgiveness from them i'm sorry i'm sorry i did this i'm sorry this happened it's all you can do but if you truly mean it god will forgive you of it and their judgment's not what matters in the end no. it doesn't they have no right to judge you here or eternally yeah. so whatever it was Find peace with yourself. Find peace with God. He will give you that peace with yourself. That's right. Anything else you want to go over? We got it all? I think that's it. I think Um, so. All right. Well, we appreciate you all listening to us blabber on and on and on. (laughs) If you guys have any thoughts on the other ideas, we would love to hear from you guys. Our email is down below, loveandhope333 at yahoo.com. Also a link to our Facebook group. We'd love to have you join for daily inspirations there. And until next time, we hope you all have a wonderful day and may God bless.